What are some of the benefits of our redemption? When, when we look at the world today, we see that people are longing for meaning, for significance, for purpose, and, and there's so much confusion in our culture. What is life all about? What is the reason for living? Why, why am I here? And so people try all sorts of things to find meaning and significance, whether they pursue their job or their uh, or, uh, sexuality or, or drugs. I mean, there are all kinds of venues and paths where people are, are trying to find happiness and joy. But the, but the gospel tells us our fundamental need as human beings is to be in a right relationship with our Creator with the one who made us, and the gospel tells us the truth about ourselves. It's a very difficult truth to accept, and that truth is that we are alienated from him. The truth is that I, Tom Schreiner, am wicked. I'm an evil person, and that, that's a very hard thing to bear. We all know what it's like to be in a conversation with someone, and they uh, they uh, point out one of our sins, and uh, we resist it. We're defensive, and, and the gospel tells us our Creator is saying that to us. The one who made us is saying, you are evil. You, you have displeased me. And, and it takes a great work of the Holy Spirit, doesn't it, to admit that and to stand before God naked, as it were, and to say, I, I, have, I have displeased you. I, I have rebelled against you. I am, I am a wicked person. But the, the gospel doesn't end there, does it? The gospel says that God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to atone for our sins, to, to absorb the wrath of God. God, out of His love, sent His Son so that our sins could be forgiven, so that if we put our trust in Him, we can be forgiven of our sins. And when we come to that experience, when we, when we turn to Jesus Christ for such forgiveness, there, there is an, an incredible sense of peace, a sense of, uh, of rightness with the world, because it truly is a rightness with the world. We suddenly realize this is what we were created for. We were created to be in right relationship with God. We recognize at that moment when we confess our sins and we're forgiven of our sins, this is the truth about me. I'm, I'm flawed. I'm fallible. Uh, I, I was just reading the story yesterday of a very famous person who and his and one of his children was criticizing him for his sins. And it just struck me again, isn't this the story of us all? We are flawed, sinful people. But when we confess our sins, we're honest with ourselves, we turn to Christ for forgiveness, we experience peace with God, as Paul says in Romans chapter 5. We, 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 we're a new creation now. And, and obviously there are struggles in our lives as Christians. We still have trials and difficulties. But we, I think we have that sense of a abiding peace. The love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. And we sense now that nothing can separate us from God's love because we've been forgiven of our sins. We have, we have a new status as God's children. We have a new destiny. We're, we're filled with hope and we're, we're filled with joy and we're given strength to make it through uh, these pilgrim days.